What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to create your website on the Zoho website builder. The Zoho.com platform or website allows you to create your own website with ease as it has many easy to use and powerful tools and template that will help you start building your website. So let's first go to the Zoho.com webpage that's Zoho.com slash sites not only Zoho.com as you can see that because Zoho.com webpage has lots of tools so we want to go to the Zoho.com slash sites here and you'll be asked here to sign up or create an account or you can just sign in if you already created an account so you can sign up with email and password and sign up click on sign up for free or you can sign up or sign in with your google account or linkedin so you can choose the sign up method that works best for you and once you are signed up you will be greeted with this page here first you'll need to enter a name for your website so let's name it our first website okay and now you can pick up your website's category. So you can leave it as general or you can pick the category of your website or business in order to give you the templates that are best suitable for you. So let's say I'm building a website for my restaurant. So let's choose for this example, choose restaurant so that it'll show me the restaurant based like templates and then hit choose theme or click on enter. And it'll give you many templates, many ready-made templates with text styles and backgrounds and everything that are suitable for your business type. So your restaurant business. Let's choose this one. I think it looks great. And it is also a single page website. You can click on live demo here to view the website in real time. It'll open in a new tab. So you will view it as if you are a real visitor to the website. So you can click on the different section or page, go to different pages. You can scroll and click on the buttons here. And if you like this template, you can simply close this tab here and then go ahead and click on customize. First of all, before opening the template in the editor, you can change like different simple settings like the color palette for your website. Let's say I like this one, these colors. You can change the font styles for the text on your website. And don't worry, you can edit these settings later. However, you are free to choose here some generalized like uh, font if you like this one and you want to use it for all the text on your website instead of editing every text element on your website. Here it gives you the option to edit them all before editing your website. You can choose a header type. So let's choose this one like this one, for example, and then a banner type. So let's choose this one and then click finish and it'll take a moment and then load up your template in the editor so you can edit all the elements or add new elements to your website okay now the template is loaded up in the editor you can see here a pop-up that says building blocks it's like a mini tutorial to guide you through the editing and show you like some tips and tricks on the creation here on Soho. So let's skip it for now. Let's close it. And here is the template loaded up in the editor. First, you can add many elements. So if you click here on the plus icon in the top left here, you can add like a section or view the saved section you can add an element page and blog post. So let's add an element. We can view it. There are lots of elements like text elements, images, icons, and so on. So let's add a text element. So let's add a heading. And if we click on it, it'll add it here at the bottom and it'll open the settings so we can click and highlight the text and we can name it like or visit our YouTube channel. And we can edit the text color or the font. So let's edit the font here. Okay, so let's highlight the text first and then edit the font. And we can choose the text size and the text color and highlight and we can add a link, make it italic and so on. So that's the element that we added here. So let's go to the top here. 
and we can also add like a section for some we can also add like sections so an image an icon a heading and so on and we have like many styles for the sections that we can add we can add like apps also so like a comment box a social media share button and so on and we can also add forms here so if we want to add forms we can do so now i'll show you how to edit the elements on the web page so let's close this one let's click away and if you view here the page you can edit if you hover over any element here that's a spacer like heading text and you can hover over the button and it says button you can edit any element here so if we go to this heading for example we can highlight the text and once we do so the editing menu will open we can type the text that we want to change the text so let's say watch our awesome tutorials on youtube okay and the text is now updated we can highlight it again to change the font so let's change the font here okay we can change the font size make it italic underlined add a link and edit the text color the font color let's make it bright green and also add the highlight and so on okay so the text is now edited we can do the same with all the elements so if we scroll down a bit we can also edit the button here so if we click on it it'll open like the settings panel and if it doesn't open just click here on settings and it'll open we can change the alignment so we can make it as you can see there is a space holder for the button it's on the left now let's put it in the middle let's make it a primary okay the size is medium small or large let's make it large and the style here we can make it rounded corner instead of oval or like a uh, default which is like sharp edges i like the rounded corner better let's make it also the full width of the element and we can also change the text style or add a background change the uh, like the font and text color and so on so let's add a background so we can choose a background color let's choose a red color here as you can see it changes and the active color when you hover over it so let's make it blue blue shades here let's choose this shade of blue and so when you hover over it as you can see the color changes from red to blue we can also add shadow and spacing and so on and here you can add animation when you hover over it so it fades up slides left let's make it slide down when you hover over it as you can see here it slides down you can also control the animation duration and repeat it if you want to and we can do so with all the sections of the website so the home the about the selection so on so let's click on the menu it'll it'll go to the menu section of our website as you can see here since our website is one long page you can also change any text here so the menu elements can change like the uh the name and the price of the item itself and you can always click on preview here to view the settings that you created it'll open in a new tab and it'll show you like a preview as if you are a visitor to your website and all the edits are there as you can see here the text that we change and the color and so on and you can also view how your website will look on a tablet or on a mobile phone as well as the desktop view and once you are happy with all the changes that you made you can click on publish here or from the editor itself click also on publish and here it'll give you the option to choose like a subdomain or a do free domain name and it'll be followed by zohosites.com so that'll be free so let's type in test website 3223 three, any numbers so you get the point so here we can publish it and as you can see this website name or domain is not used or if you have already purchased a domain name you can enter it here and link it to zoho so it'll be your website's url so once all is set you can click on publish here and as you see here 
you will be asked to confirm your email first and then click on so as you can see here it asks you to confirm your email first and then you'll be able to publish your website on the web with the domain name that you entered